Thanks for taking the time to watch this important video. We're living in interesting and challenging times. Today, we're facing new and unprecedented security challenges that demand new and innovative solutions. Our state of Illinois has become a nationally recognized leader in Homeland Security. We won the Distinguished Harvard Mitratech Homeland Security Innovations Award for our state weapons of mass destruction teams, which are able to provide avenues of assistance at the scene of a weapons of mass destruction attack anywhere in Illinois. We've maintained the federal government's green rating for bioterrorism preparedness. This is the government's highest rating for being prepared to respond to a biological attack. We prepared the video you are about to see to help make you more aware of how to help prevent an emergency or disaster in your hometown. In Illinois, Homeland Security begins at home. We need your help. And by watching this video, you will learn how you can help make our state more secure. Thanks, Thanks for watching. As you have just heard, Illinois is a national leader in terrorism preparedness. We have created, staffed, equipped, and trained numerous state and local level tactical units designed to respond to terrorist incidents. We also have created the statewide terrorism intelligence center called STIC, which is manned 24 hours a day by staff trained and equipped to process inquiries from police agencies. STIC is a repository of information about terrorists and their actions. This agency maintains records on every call made to them and has the ability to authorize a suspect to be held pending further investigation when the situation warrants it. STIC relies on information from law enforcement and citizens. In this video, we will show how you can help us by providing your local law enforcement agency with information that can make your local communities a safer place. I'm Dan Ferrelli from the Aurora Police Department. I want to introduce you to the signs or indicators that may help predict a possible terrorist attack. Now, most terrorist incidents follow a distinct pattern. This pattern is called the seven signs of terrorism. These seven signs or steps were identified by the U.S. Air Force to train their personnel in what to look for in preventing terrorist acts. Now, terrorism can take more than one form. International terrorism is carried out by people from other countries like the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks. Domestic terrorism is carried out by citizens of our own country. Domestic terrorism has been seen in incidents like the Oklahoma City bombing, school violence massacres, or actions of extremists or fanatic groups. As a citizen, you can help make sure your community is more secure simply by paying attention to what's going on around you. The seven signs of terrorism include surveillance, inquiries, tests of security, acquiring supplies, suspicious or out-of-place behavior, dry runs and trial runs, and deploying assets or getting into position. The first sign is surveillance what to watch out for, and what should be reported. During the planning phase, terrorists will often conduct surveillance on a possible target. They do this to determine the strengths and weaknesses of their target and the likely response times of emergency responders. Routes to and from the target are usually established during the surveillance phase. Examples of surveillance activities include someone recording or monitoring activities, drawing diagrams, making notes on a map, using vision enhancing devices such as binoculars, possessing floor plans or blueprints of places such as high-tech firms, financial institutions, government or military facilities, or key industrial or transportation facilities. Any of these surveillance activities may be a sign that something isn't right. If you feel you've observed something suspicious, do not confront the person, and do not simply dismiss it. Instead, call 911 and report it to the police. The second sign is inquiries. This is when someone attempts to gain information about an important place, its operations, or workers. An important place might be a power or water plant, bridge, school, stadium, or shopping mall. Terrorists may ask what the building is used for, building operations, schedules, deliveries, 
and security-related information. That information, alone or together with other facts, might reveal security strengths or weaknesses. Attempts to obtain information may be made by fax, U.S. mail, email, phone, extracted from web pages, or in person. Testing security is another way for terrorists to gather information. This may be done by walking or driving into restricted areas to observe security or law enforcement responses. They may also try to enter physical security barriers or access procedures in order to determine strengths and weaknesses. Terrorists need to acquire supplies and equipment in order to carry out their attack. This may include purchasing or stealing explosives, weapons, ammunition, harmful chemicals, or chemical equipment. Terrorists may also obtain law enforcement or military equipment, identification badges, uniforms, or decals. Airline boarding passes or operation and flight manuals could also be obtained and used in planning an attack. Forging or photocopying personal identification, passport, or other documents is another method used to obtain supplies. Another sign is suspicious or out-of-place behavior. These are people in a workplace, building, neighborhood, or business who are suspicious because of their behavior, the unusual questions they ask, or the statements they make. Keep in mind that police officers often respond to complaints that seem to be routine in nature, but could result in something much more significant. As we said before, if you feel that you've seen something suspicious, do not dismiss it. Report it to the police. Before carrying out the final operation or plan, terrorists typically conduct a trial run or dry run. The trial run consists of putting people into position and moving them around according to their plan without actually committing the terrorist act. It could also include mapping out routes to determine traffic flows. The seventh sign is deploying assets or getting into position to commit the terrorist act. Deploying assets is placing people, equipment, and supplies at or near the target. If you see suspicious activity, this is the last opportunity you have to report it to the police, no matter how insignificant you think it may be. In conclusion, it's important to remember that the seven signs of terrorism we've talked about in this video may occur months or even years apart. If you or a family member sees any suspicious or criminal activity, you should never attempt to stop a suspect. Call the police immediately and report the incident or activity. Law enforcement personnel recognize that not all persons taking photos or inquiring about a location are terrorists. This is why we have procedures in place to share information with local, state, and federal homeland security officials. The success of securing our homeland depends on our vigilance, commitment, and ability to recognize these signs. To contact your local police, call 911.